Hey guys, this is Dr. Sarah. How are you? It's been a minute since I've made a video. Super cool up. We've seen a few clients here and there and just life in general. But I just felt so moved to make um, this video. And specifically, it's talking to people um, that have experienced things whereby you start something, you start something, but you just cannot finish. You start something so with so much excitement, so much enthusiasm, and you cannot finish. You see other people doing something and you're like, you know what? I think I could do this. You do all the research online, you speak to people, you make plans, you organize, you walk, 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 talk the talk, talk, but some resistance happens, okay? which I've also experienced myself, some resistance happens and then you turn all the way back. You go back to your familiar, you go back to your default system and you don't accomplish. So I was just meditating about this um, just a few days ago and I said, I have to talk about some things I've learned and I want to share with you so you can overcome and get the reward on the other side of the resistance, okay? So first of all, I just want you to think about the fact that there's something that you want, whether you want to start a business, whether you are um, specifically really about people that really want to start businesses or you want to um, try to start a new career path. OK, and this this can also be applied for desiring to have better companionship, friendships, um, romantic relationships leading to marriage and so on and so forth. I just want you to get to, first of all, understand that when you do desire something, it's a good thing. When you do desire something, you can have what you say. It is yours. The mere fact that you conceived it in your mind, you saw what you want in your imagination, it's already there for your taking. It just takes you being able to be resilient enough, in other words, bounce back from difficulties and overcome what it is internally within you or externally that makes you give up, that makes you give up on that dream. I just want you to understand that when you come to a place of resistance, and this resistance could be, you know, you don't feel like you're getting support from people. You don't um, feel like um, you'll get enough positive feedback from people, okay? Things on the external is just not matching up to what you conceived in your mind. First of all, you should know that physical things can change form, okay? You, you just have to believe in what you, you, you conceived in your mind. So, you know, there's resistance, as I mentioned, things on the outside as you're going on your journey to attain that thing you want. Um, things on the outside are not aligning with what's happening on the inside. But the biggest thing to really overcome, the biggest resistance, is what happens on the inside. When you tell yourself things like, oh, I'm too tired for this. Oh, I, I, I'm just not in the mood. Oh, or you get distracted, okay? Whether it's television. You know, there's too many of us watching too much, you know, reality shows on things or things on social media that just grr, grabs your attention, okay? It's, it's, it's profound. Um, you have to overcome those resistances. They are your life patterns that you have to get to a place where you say enough is enough. You are meant to be a, a bright light. You're meant to be a city on a hill. People are meant to look at you as the resource. Okay. But you need to get to a place like I got to a place where it's like, you know what? I'm not going to speak negative things about myself. Okay. Yes, you may not have things on the outside aligning to what you believe on the inside, but you are the one that has to speak what you want to see to overcome the resistance. Some of your resistance, this could um, uh, manifest in things like um, you feel inadequate to do that thing that you really want to do. You just feel inadequate. You feel excited about it. You feel enthusiastic about it. But when you're actually doing it in real time, you just... You just feel like I'm just not enough or oh, maybe this is not me. But the reality is, as I said, the mere fact that you conceived it in your mind, you imagined it, it's already yours. You need to be patient with yourself. 
The thing about life I've seen so far is that somebody can um, provide you a really great proposal to do something, or you see someone do something, you're like, you know, I feel like I could do that. Or the Holy Spirit tells you, you know what, this is something I want you to do. And you feel like, yes, you could do that. But the thing is that what God doesn't always tell you, uh, for, most, for the most part, he doesn't tell you the things that you will endure along the way. He doesn't tell you about um, people not agreeing with you. He doesn't always tell you that um, some people are not going to believe you. He doesn't even tell you that um, random things are going to happen to to test you, to derail you, to distract you. So you're not prepared for those things. So what I want to tell you right now, all right, my brother, my sister, whenever you are going to start anything new in life, you will hit a place of wilderness. You will hit a place of wilderness. In that place of wilderness, it goes, it's going to look like that nothing is going to work. No breakthrough is going to happen. You're going to probably feel very alone, but it's a lie. It's a lie. It's that place of wilderness the other side of that is your promised land is your breakthrough but what god allows or what the universe allows that resistance okay to happen is really to speak to you and say you must get through me as a rite of passage so in other words you have to get through this resistance as a test to get that breakthrough i used to think that those resistances was like Oh my God, I cannot get through. I just, I cannot. You know, you just felt so, I just sometimes feel so defeated. But I've come to finally see, and I just thank God for the Holy Spirit to open my eyes to this, that that resistance, those enemies, if you want to use that as well, okay? Or those people that you think like, oh my goodness, they're not helping me. It's a setup to really see and for you to see yourself clearly is that, are you worthy of getting this reward? Yes, other people have gotten that thing, but you don't know how those other people got it. For the most part, those people surely did overcome their resistances. But that resistance comes up to really face you. Even just like Goliath had to face David, David has to face Goliath, where it's like, are you, do you believe in yourself enough do you believe in yourself enough without getting any validation from anybody are you my brother my sister worthy to get that reward that breakthrough on the other side of that wall of resistance it really is all about you you may get distracted by people that appear to be resistances appear to not help you but it's what you tell yourself is the biggest obstacle to overcome. There's a proverb that says, as a man thinketh, as a woman thinketh in her, his heart, that's who you are. So it's, there's an internal resistance. The old person, the old pattern, the old default system, that is what you must overcome. That is what you must overcome. That resistance is not meant for you to turn back I, you know, I can see some of you have walked the journey, walking, 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 and then you turn right back. It was too hard. You couldn't do it. You got distracted. You compared yourself with other people. Who said your journey has to be the same as the other person? Yes, you like what the other person did. Yes, you believe you are cool to do that thing. Yes, you feel enthusiastic about that thing. But the thing is, the secret is, you don't know how you're going to get there. But I tell you how you will get there. You must overcome the um, mental blocks, in other words, the resistances within you, they are not meant to push you back to square one. As many of you have probably experienced, you start a new job, you know, and you're like, I want to get this job. And then somebody gets on your nerves. You're like, I'm going to leave. You start a new church and you're like, Oh, somebody gets on your nerves or it just, it's not, it doesn't look right, but you felt really led to come to this place. You turn back again. You turn back again. You start a new relationship. You look at all this old negative stuff. And then you start, you know, 
manifesting your old default things that you said to yourself in the quiet time. Oh, I'm not going to do this again in my relationships. Oh, I'm not going to, you know, um, behave this way. But it came up again because that test, that, that wall of resistance still speaking to you to say, until you overcome me, you are not going to get that new thing. So listen, my friends, my brothers, and my sisters, the internal resistance that you have been shying away from, that you've been, um, that has appeared to push you back to square one, it's in your hands to bring it down. It's in your hands to bring it down. You must be resilient. I remember, you know, during my um, final oral uh, presentation for my dissertation, one of the things that the committee, one of my committee members said is that, Sarah, it's not that, you know, um, we know you're, basically he was like, we know you're smart, we know you could have got this doctorate, but that wasn't a reason why, you know, you've attained this doctorate. The reason why you attained this doctorate is because you were resilient. In the face of adversity, all the stumbling blocks that the universe, that God could allow to come my way. The doctor said to me, what, who was one of my committed members, is that you were resilient. You kept on going. And I recognize now so far in my life, what keeps me going is that I must have a vision. So you must have a vision. There must be an end picture an end goal that is bigger than your current life. That is what's going to help you also overcome the resistances that come up. Because the reality, my brothers and sisters, resistance will happen. It will not be easy. Some of you have heard this many times, but many of you have not built up the muscles, the um, emotional, spiritual psychological muscles to overcome the resistances that will cause a lot of mental acrobatics, okay? You need to be able to see beyond the now. Something, you have to get a goal. And it may take time, but it has to be something beyond your current situation that you can conceive, you can project yourself in, see yourself in that vision that's going to pull you out beyond the pit the prison experience the wilderness experience okay so not only will you um i've i've mentioned about how to overcome these um mental resistances the other way is to ensure that you have a vision to pull you out okay ensure you have this vision it has to be bigger than life and please okay don't start imagining, I can't attain that. I'm not good enough. Who knows me? Well, I believe there's a scripture, again, for those who are Christians or even unbelievers. There's a scripture that says that um, your gift, I believe it's in a book of Proverbs. This is the book of wisdom. Your gift will make room for you. You can, I can have all the degrees I want. I can have all, you can have all the degrees you want. You can have all the man-made skills that um that you that you want if you don't use your gift this is something you didn't go to school for okay your gift is something that comes naturally to you if you don't use that gift as the scripture says this world won't make room this world will not make room for you because if you do the same thing like everybody else why should anyone pay attention to you okay why should anyone pay attention to you you must use your gifting as you're overcoming, as you're attaining, sorry, that, that desire that you want, that reward on the other side. You need to enact your special gifts. You only know what they are, and I'll give you a clue. It's something that you didn't have to go to school or anything for, but you must exercise it. You must practice it. There's something I'm sure that you've, you know, you just, people have said, oh, you're really good at that. Or you've thought to yourself, yeah, I'm good at that, but so what? Some of you are really great at cooking. 
okay? Some of you are great at knitting. Some of you are great at doing hair. Some of you are great at, um, you know, fixing stuff around the house. Some of you are really great at um, doing things on a computer, coding. Some of you have really great ideas. You're like, oh, that's nothing. Because, it just, it, because you know what? The gift is so easy. You don't, even, you don't even realize or recognize or acknowledge how, how, how useful that gift is because it comes so naturally to you. So that's another clue. It comes so naturally to you. And you just, you know, disregard it. So, well, how about this? If you disregard that natural gift that the Most High has given to you, so the world will also disregard you. Do you want that? Do you want the world to disregard you? This is why you haven't moved forward in life. This is why you're not being able to overcome those resistances because you're not activating that natural gift that the Most High God has given you, programmed into you to overcome the gifting, overcome the resistances, sorry. It's in your hands. It's in your hands. So as a recap, the reason why you start things and you don't finish is because you come face to face to resistances in your life, whether it's people, situations, but majority of the time it's your own self-talk that stops you. I want you to understand that resistance is not there to kill you or destroy you unless you allow it. It's there to confront you like David had to confront Goliath that everybody was scared to confront. Is there to confront you to literally say to you, are you ready for the reward on the other side? Are you worthy of the reward on the other side? Once you can say yes, yes to that, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's truly about to happen. And lastly, you must activate those special gifts that come so naturally to you. You don't think nothing of it. You roll your eyes when people say, yeah, you're really good at it. You don't even see the value of it. Well, if you don't see the value of the gift, you cannot overcome that resistance. And just like I said, the book of Proverbs said, this is the story. I'm a Christian, so I'm going to let, let you know. And even non-Christians can use it um, as well. Um, your gifting will make room for you and bring you to great men. So until you activate those gifts that you're like, nah, that's just nothing because it's so natural to you, you're not going to be able to reap the rewards that you are searching for, whether it's fame, fortune, um, influence, um, you know, positive impact, change, being a change agent, um, getting married, um, um, having kids, um, starting new jobs, starting a new career, um, connecting to the right people, settling down in the right um, organizations, whether it's a church or other type of social group, um, being an entrepreneur, until you activate your natural gifts and overcome the resistances, specifically the resistances of your own negative self-talk, you're going to stay in the same spot. And you're going to turn right back to square one. And you're going to keep on complaining. Why me? Why did it help me? Da -da 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 -da. And life is telling you, we're waiting for you. We're waiting for you to overcome your own wall of, of resistance is your wall get over that wall and that promised land that thing that you desire is there waiting for you ready to be embraced ready for you to talk about ready for you to testify about and you are going to smile from ear to ear so that's what i have for you folks um i hope you really got something from this please leave me a comment below and tell me what you thought as you were um, listening to this, encourage me too to keep making these videos. Um, I really enjoyed actually making this video because it was something that I needed to also overcome, and I just knew, just, I just felt something in my spirit to say, go and share this. So please, um, you know, help my algorithm 
like this video, share this video with whoever you feel um, led to share it with, put it in your social media. Please let's help the world together. Um, and like I said, send, um, you can always email me if you um, need any type of mentoring in areas such as this. I am definitely happy to help you. For now and for later, I wish you so much blessings and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.